Hey y'all, come on in. It's Thursday night. It's time for another conversation with Billy and Yolanda Jackson of Living Peace Ministries. How's everybody doing tonight? Y'all come on in. We're so glad to be here. I'm fine. I, thank you for asking. Uh, things are going great with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it is. I'm doing fine. Thank you. I'm glad you're doing well, babe. Thank you. Appreciate glad it. you're doing well. Oh, tonight. you was talking to them. Mm, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. We hope you all had a great week. <laughs> And listen, and those of you who maybe had a trying week or you're getting a little exhausted, just remember, and I, I know some people say, yeah, you just say that. It's easy for you to say that. It is easy for me to say that God loves you. Yes, he does. And he's got your back. And he knows you may not like where you are. Uh, and he's going to, he's going to, he's going to, he's there for you. You just got to trust him, depend on him and have faith in what he's doing in your life. Okay. That's right. That's right. Hey, Instagram. We're so glad you guys here. Instagram. Um, I forgot how I can get it to be a little lighter. A little lighter. But, um, mm -hmm. Not getting much good good light from the in, uh, Instagram, but that's all good right. Good Ernest, good to see you. So yeah. to come on in. Yeah, come on in. You can join us on Facebook or Instagram. We're so glad to be here. So tonight... Who's that? We're going to be... What's wrong? Uh, the name. I don't know the name. Well, you know, the usernames are different on Instagram. Usernames? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So, um... So tonight, we're going to be talking about fighting temptations, like fighting them, like crushing the head of temptation, like, right? You got to resist temptation. It comes in all forms and all fashions. Mm -hmm. So if you've dealt with, dealing with, it's creeped up on you, any kind of temptation that could be affecting you, then uh, definitely... We want to talk about it. We're going to talk about it today. Oh, well, see, there you go. They just put their tag in so you won't ask about their user. Oh, Mountain I'm sorry. Mountain Top Faith Ministries from Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Now, thank see, you for being thank, here. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, he was being rude about that, too, I wasn't. Was, I wasn't. I like, wanted to say hi. You didn't. You should have just said hi instead of saying, what is that? I didn't know what that the name That would nice thing to say. You know what? Listen, I'm not familiar with, with Instagram, okay? <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I'm not in... And, I am a, a little older than my wife, so I'm I'm not there. So I ask, and uh, but thank you for letting me know. I have seen you guys before, and thank you for for your you know attending all the uh -huh. time. Fix it, we, we fix it, it Jesus, us. fix it. Hey, I'm telling you, I, <laughs> fix it. There's one thing y'all got to know about me is I'm gonna always be truthful. If I don't know, I'm gonna tell you I don't know. But yeah. I do know I'm happy to be here with y'all tonight. <laughs> so crazy, it's so crazy. So let's start. So off, we're gonna start off with a little prayer. All right, go ahead. Father in heaven, first we want to tell you we love you so much, God. We want to thank you for all the times that you were there and pulled us through, Lord. We want to thank you for thank the times you. that we know about thank it. You. But the times, Lord, we want to really be grateful for the times that we didn't know we were in danger and you dispatched your angels, Lord, to cover us and pull us through. Yes. God, Yolanda and I are here today to empty ourselves, Lord, as you use us uh, to deliver the message of hope, Lord, uh, to those who have joined us tonight, those that you have chosen uh, to place in our path that you may bless mm -hmm. through us with our testimony, Lord, uh, that relates to what they are going through, Lord. Yes. Yolanda and I ask for those to join us tonight, Lord, uh, through you so that we can uh, make our testimony known about what we've gone through, so that so that they know that what they have, what they're going through right now, will be able to help them later on to help others. Just as our mess mm -hmm. has turned ours into, a, you turned ours into a message. Also, we love yes. you, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, all right. Thank you guys for joining us. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. Um, temptation. I uh, temptation. You still right temptation. Can you can you put my thing up right here, please? Uh, yes, your notes. Yes, thank you all for being here. Uh, Lawrence, I see you guys. You traveling. I see you across the country. Be mm -hmm. safe out there. Be safe for sure. Especially if you're watching this while you're driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't don't watch while you're driving, Lawrence. <laughs> he can listen, though. He can, he can listen, listen but don't be looking now. Don't You got to drive. Yeah, I got to take care of all of our... Yeah. On the road, traveling, yeah, working road. hard, folks. You don't know if someone walk across that road coming out of the woods. You don't want to do that. <laughs> so uh, thank so, you all yeah. for joining us. So let's get into it. Fighting temptation. So temptation. I want to I want to tell you all uh, one thing about temptation. I don't want y'all to think about the big, strong, get them, crazy get them, get them. Can I? Can I? Sorry, I was having a moment. <laughs> I was having a moment. Now, I'm usually the crazy one. This is the one right here. So, here we go. So, we're not talking about the blatant uh, temptations that always happen. The ones that cause us to cheat. Uh, mm -hmm. There are very small temptations that come about when we go through things, too, also, that uh, if left alone early in the marriage, 
can fester and turn into something great. They also mm -hmm. may add to other issues that are going on in the relationship. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, tell you the scripture that we're doing today. We're going to start off with James 1, 14 and 15. And it basically says, temptations comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. Mm. These desires give birth to sinful actions. And when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to, to death. death. Okay. Somebody put that scripture in for us. That's James, uh, the first chapter, verses 14 and 15. Yeah, I'm going to give you a small uh, example of, of what, what I mean by, you, by these temptations. Uh, I always talk about the fruits of the Spirit, which is uh, Galatians 5 and 22. But Galatians 19, Galatians 5, 19 through 21, those are the, the that are not the fruits of the Spirit. These are that, that lead to sin, Okay. And I'm going to give you an example. I had an issue uh, in my younger years with patience. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what patience did for me, since I had a lack of patience, lack of patience fed my anger problem. Okay. Mm. So, so when we talk about temptations, let's get away from uh, being in the club, tempted away from your spouse. Let's get away from that. Let's, let's start looking at the little things around the house. Little things that that may that you may yeah that you may not think about little things that we like to say well that's just me you know that's just me I I need I have my modes I get in my moods well these are things that need to be corrected as you go through your marriage mm -hmm. so as I was saying that the lack of patience fed my anger my anger would come across to Yolanda in conversations so that if she wanted to talk about something to find a solution when we had issues in our marriage if I didn't want to talk about it. Lack of patience fed my anger. My anger snapped at Yolanda and, oh. and everything shut down. That's good. Okay. That's true. So these are little things that I allowed my flesh mm -hmm. to pull. My own desire not to talk about it. My own yeah. desire to be impatient. My own desire to l allow myself to be angry. Because it was easier for me to be angry than it was for me to keep myself from being angry. Wonder why it's easy to be like in a negative state. It's easy because we train ourselves in our lives to do that. We train ourselves to be a certain way, okay? Uh, like, like uh, I had a walk that was kind of goofy when I was growing up. I always walked from side to side. In my mind, I thought I was cool. But when I saw myself on video for the first time walking like that, I'm like, man, I got to fix that. That doesn't look right. So as I started trying to walk right, it felt awkward to me because I spent most of my life walking a certain way. If you live your life a certain way where it's okay with you to be angry, it's okay with you to be impatient. It was okay for me to say, hey, Yolanda, I don't feel like talking about it right now, mm -hmm. okay? But now that I'm married, we have to talk. Mm -hmm. So even if that tried my patience to speak earlier, I have to uh, develop uh, my spirit, make my spirit strong enough so that I can fight the urge not to talk to Yolanda. Right, you have to resist yeah, the, devil the devil and he will flee. Yeah. You have to submit to God, resist the devil, and, and he, he will, will flee. flee. That's right. what scripture ta tells mm -hmm. us. Resist the devil. I mean, res uh, yeah, resist, resist the, the devil. devil. So, but so you have to submit to God in mm -hmm. order to fight the temptation. So let's go back to the garden. Right. So remember when Adam, Adam and Eve were in the garden and God told Adam, he told Adam the command not to touch the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And so the serpent came and said, did God really say that? You know, mm -hmm. did God, is real God going to kill you? You know, mm -hmm. I'm summarizing here. But the point is, you know, it put a temptation, a thought into Eve, influenced her to see that something that all the things she could have had in the garden, she went to the one thing that really wasn't good for her. Right, right. right? Just because it looked good don't mean it's good for you. Yeah. Right? As your old saying says, everything that looks good to you is not necessarily good for you. Yeah. And that's the same thing for temptation. Just because you have access to it doesn't mean that you should partake. Okay, so whether that's the lack of patience, whether that's your selfishness, whether it's greed, whether it's any of the things that cause us to fall into sin, we have to learn to resist the devil. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. We have to learn all of those things and be able to withstand that temptation. Right. And that's why I was asking you, what causes it to be so hard? And I think some people, uh, they get lazy. Mm -hmm. They fall into it because they get lazy. They fall into it because if they feel like that's what they want, mm -hmm. that it'll feel a want. But really, we know temptation is temporary. Yeah, yeah. But and also, also though, mm -hmm. we fix a lot of our actions to fit our Christian walk. Mm. Okay. Let me say it Talk again. Talk about that a little we bit. We fix some of our actions to fit our Christian walk. We make everything okay. Listen, it's easy to look back at Adam and Eve and say, "Man, why did they do that?" 
But then you got to look at what's going on with them. See, for a moment, they were tempted enough. Their flesh had the desire enough and drug, drug them away. Like the scripture says, mm -hmm. drag us, drag us away. Yeah. Drug them away from God's uh, will for us. God told them, gave them an order. You can have everything out here except mm -hmm. that tree. But for a moment, Eve was talked in the, she made it right. It was okay not to do what God said. Yeah. For a moment that was in her head, she fixed it. And when she got with Adam, Adam fixed it in his head. You know what? You're right. Fix it in his head. How many things do we go through in our lives that we fix something that we know is not of God, but we fix it and say it's okay. And it's okay so much that we don't go back and repent about it. We don't yeah. go back and say we're sorry about it. We don't go back and even ask God to forgive us about it because we make it right. It feels good and we leave it alone and we make it an everyday thought. And we always blame it on the fact that we're only human. Well, I'm going to tell you something. If you, if you fall into saying we're only human, then you're giving the flesh more power. power. Exactly. You're giving the you're giving flesh more, more flesh power. power. Yeah. God made you more. As that song says, more than a conqueror. Yes. You are more than your flesh. The spiritual, spirituality in us that God created in us has made us so strong that we can overcome these temptations out here. We can overcome anything that is not of God because mm -hmm. everything that is of God is already in us. Yes. So the enemy has made us say we're only human and it makes a lot of us stay where we are. And that's why mm -hmm. it's easy to do that. That's why it's easy to fall into that. That's why it's easy to feed your anger, to say, hey, leave me alone. Hey, you know how I get. These are my moods. That's the human trait, but we need to take the spiritual part of it. You know, I'm so glad that Jesus didn't say on his way to the cross and say, you know what? This ain't even me. I'm not going to even do this. Mm -hmm. I'm more powerful than this. No, he dealt with it because he did that for us. You don't know who you're living your life for. Mm -hmm. You don't know how strong or powerful your marriage is going to be for, whether it's in the generation during your lifetime or it's several generations down the line. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the ripple effect of the power God has in you, the light in your marriage is. So you don't have you you don't have the the grace enough. You don't. It's not even the, uh, uh, authorized by you to make a decision because of your own fleshy desires to quit or not do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like the fact that, you know, we're talking about this because we do always think about temptation mm -hmm. as, you know, you should be talking to other guys and you should be talking to other girls. Which is true. It's true. But we don't That's have to a, focus on that. Right. We, we're not focusing just on that tonight. Yeah. I mean, because you know that that can slip in and sneak in, you know, when you're at your weakest point. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it comes in, the enemy comes in when you're at your weakest point and mm -hmm. you fall to that temptation thinking that's going to fill a void that nobody else can feel right. or that that other person you think is going to feel it can feel. Right. And that doesn't happen that way. Because what happens is even if you gave an ear to that temptation, you gave an ear to that person at work that's trying to, you know, I'm just here for you. Let me know whatever you need. I'm here for you. You know how it goes. You yeah. know, I'm here and all that. You're going to, uh, the last part of that scripture says, and when sin is allowed to grow, mm -hmm. it gives birth to death. Yes. So you're birthing something of death. You're birthing something that was still kill and destroy yeah. you, your marriage, your family. I mean, you're giving birth to death. You're giving birth to something that the enemy has set up mm -hmm. to come against you. Yes, right. That means you've taken your guards down. You've taken your shield of faith down. You've taken your sword of the word of God down. Yeah, you put everything down and you're allowing sin to creep in. And then the first time they call and text you, you think nothing of it. Like, it's just okay. It's okay they call and text. And, or, you know, they were just checking on me because, you know, they knew I had a bad day or I hurt my foot or something happened and, and they were just checking on me. No, that's you opening the door. Yeah. You have to set boundaries in your marriage, right? Mm -hmm. You have to set boundaries. And that's boundaries of the little things that, you know, that we sometimes take for granted. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, even being selfish, mm -hmm. you know, the selfishness of, of, of sin, that's, you got to be mindful of those things that really cause you to um, get on a path that could birth something to death. I have another scripture here I wanted to give you because I just mentioned about how everything you may have be have access to everything, but it's not good for you and it's not beneficial. Right. And if somebody would type the scripture in for us so y'all can go back and meditate on it. It's 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. It says, you say I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. And even mm -hmm. though I'm allowed to do everything, anything, I must not become a slave to anything. 
right? I must not become a slave to anything. So that's 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. As a Christian, do not be afraid to protect your marriage from yourself. Oh. Okay? Wow. Do that's not good. be afraid to protect your marriage Break that down, brother. from yourself. And the thing is, is that God has given you as a husband, we dancing? Break that down. That it's you cool. as a husband, the head of the household, and the wife as the helpmate. And together in this marriage, the two of you can destroy everything on down. Mm -hmm. Your kid for, To your kids and, and from your kids through the community. Generations. See, it's the same thing. The great can come through and go down and make the kids great, and then the kids can make the community great. Or it can be just the opposite. And when I what I mean when, what I mean by when I say that is just a regular day of being mm -hmm. in a bad mood. And you should never be in a bad mood, but in a bad mood, and I take that out on my wife. Okay? Here, if Yolanda's at home, she says, you know what? I know my husband's gonna be, you know, he hadn't eaten any meat this month. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this vegan meal for him. I got this brand new dish. I'm gonna try it out. And Yolanda is excited because she bought the food. She did worked and put this thing together, and it tastes great. And she can't wait for me to try it. And how dare me come in the house with an attitude, and then barely taste the food and say, "Hey, it's okay," and go about my way. Do not be afraid to protect your marriage from yourself. You have to always be mindful about everybody around you. It's not always protecting your marriage from the outside. Mm. You have to protect your marriage from yourself. Why? Because the enemy's always tugging on you. He's waiting yeah. for your mind. He's waiting for your spirit to die down so he can yeah. take you over and have you clash with who God has anointed you with. Yeah. And this is what we must stop. Yeah. Yeah. And if we don't get stronger in our minds, then it's really hard to fight off the devil. Mm -hmm. If we don't get stronger, yeah. some of us are just, you know, we give up at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't, we're not fighting for ourselves, we're not fighting for our marriage. Mm -hmm. We just give up. When it gets hard or it gets challenging, yeah. we're ready to give up. Yeah. And we, and I just think sometimes we give up too quick. Yeah. You know, we give up too quick. We have to fight. Fight for what's right. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about a physical battle because we know the, the battle is belongs to the Lord. Also Lord. You know, we need to simmer down. But the, the verse, James 4 and 7, which we already quoted, I'm going to give you all that scripture. Make sure you have it. James 4 and 7, submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he, he will, will flee. flee. Right? Yeah. And put boundaries up of things that, that can creep you into temptation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes social media can creep you to temptation into temptation. Yeah. You look at people's profiles, you're looking at the high reel of their life. Mm -hmm. You know, you thinking you're comparing yourself to their life and their mm -hmm. marriage and their children and their degrees and their mm -hmm. jobs and everything else. Mm -hmm. And it's causing you to feel some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Well you need to turn it off, submit yourself to God, resist the devil and he will flee. God made you for a purpose. He has a plan for your life. And even if you are in a sticky, muddy, dirty, dark type of place, even the desert places, it can go in. just know that he can run rivers through those deserts, right? But you can't do it without God. Yeah. See, the problem is many of us are trying to change, fix, heal our marriage in our own strength. Mm. And I'm trying to tell you, you can't do it in your own strength. This is beyond strength. you. Yeah. This is bigger than you. Yeah. Right? This is a bigger attack than you. This is spiritual warfare that many of us are in. Many of you guys are fighting the spiritual warfare situations. Mm -hmm. Right? We're not fighting against flesh and blood. This is a spiritual war. And if you're going to fight in a spiritual war, you can't use earthly and human weapons trying to fight it. Yeah. yeah. Your mouth is not going to save nobody. Right. Right. right? Yeah. Your mouth can just take you back down to that desert place. Sometimes we need to shut up and sit down and submit ourselves to God and hear what the Lord is saying about our marriage. Hey, look, Instead yeah. of trying to figure it out. Well, why well, it ain't working this way? And it should be working this way. And why are they not saying this? Stop trying to figure it out and let God do the work. Let Amen. God be God. Amen. Right? And sometimes we need these tough conversations and these direct conversations because we done skirt tail, sugar-coated, icing, all these conversations for so long and for so many years, it's time out for that. 
And if you really want restoration and healing in your marriage, it's going to take some determination. It's going to take some discipline. Mm -hmm. It's going to take some change of action. It's going to take Amen. some investment in your time, some investment in your money, Amen. investment, because you're going to pay for it some kind of way. You're going to pay for it either in the marriage or outside the marriage. Mm -hmm. Y'all trying to say, well, I ain't got the money. And I can't afford to go on a retreat. Or oh, I can't do this and I can't do that. Y'all can't do it now, but somewhere you're going to spend the money. You're going to spend the money. You're going to spend the money thousands and thousands of dollars on a divorce attorney and the court costs. And then your children are going to have issues. You ask my 15-year-old right now. I said to her, I said, baby, what marriage advice would you give anybody? And I hate to say it, but her one advice that she continued to say is stay together. Because she is in a blended family. Mm -hmm. And her birth father is not here in this house. And it's tough for her. And from a child's perspective, it is tough. Yep. But I was too ignorant to know how to fight for my marriage. I was too ignorant to know what I was even getting myself into before I said I do. Yep. Ignorant. And I'm okay to say that because that's the truth. Yep. We don't always make the best decisions and the right decisions, but God said he would take everything and it would work out for our good. He's right. That's right. Right? He'll take my uh, those ashes and make them beautiful. Yep. That is the blessing of it all. But sometimes we need to be able to put on our big girl panties and our big boy drawers and get in this fight for real, yeah. God's way. Yeah, we That's draw. the way we're going to be able to come out. See, the thing is, is that Yolanda. Did you just say we have yeah, we have draws. I, I was hoping you was gonna fix the panties because we don't. I don't have. We don't have them. So what I was gonna say yeah. is this: uh, Yolanda's right. One of the things that feed into that, we talking about temptation. There's a lot of temptation, and temptation just leads to whatever takes you off God's God's plan for you. Okay, and that could be. I'm gonna go back to what Yolanda said. You looking at Facebook and looking at all these people taking these trips, moving into these houses, mm -hmm. buying these cars. You know. Everybody has blessings, and you be happy for people yes. that has blessings because those so are the great. blessings that, that God had for them. Mm -hmm. They've earned them, and they got them. But God has blessings for you also. Yep. You know, you may not be where you want to be right now, but you are getting ready so that you can receive the blessings. But you got to stop staying focused on everybody else and focus on what it is God wants you to learn as you go through your wilderness. And every blessing is not visible. Yeah. You know, what about the blessing of joy? Mm -hmm. What about the blessing of peace? Many of you all are rich in joy. Yeah. You all are rich in, come on, y'all. All y'all that your, got some your joy wants, in your life, your right? Want, your wants right? are making you want other things and keeping you all focused. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Yeah. But we have to celebrate what we do have and the blessings mm -hmm. that we do have, even if they may not be visible for everybody. You got joy in your heart. You got mm -hmm. peace in your mind. Come on. Some people are troubled in their mind. Yeah, they are. You yeah. see them every day on television. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And you wonder, like, how are they even thinking to do something like that? Yeah. You think to yourself. But if you got peace in your mind and peace in your heart, you got a sound mind. Come on. That's something to celebrate. Yeah. That's something to be excited about. That means you are blessed. Mm -hmm. Right? You are blessed. If you have a roof over your head, clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, food on your table, don't take that stuff for granted. Mm -hmm. Don't take it for granted. It is a blessing. And listen, you, when you read the story about the manna, Yolanda and I have been living that manna life because... Ooh, the manna the, and the quail. The thing about it is, is that God has, has, has provided for Yolanda and I, you know, when we don't see where it is, that's when you panic. When you don't see where your cushion is, when you don't mm -hmm. see where... Where, where you have finances, where you don't see where things are there so you can have it when you need it. Mm -hmm. when, you trust in, when you have to trust in God, that is your testimony. Mm -hmm. There's nothing Yolanda and I can tell any of you about what we did because it's, it doesn't even matter. But what should, if, what should affect you is what we tell you what God did in our lives. Mm -hmm. Because that, that, God mm -hmm. can do the same thing for you. God mm -hmm. is here to do this for all of us, okay? Mm -hmm. And when we look at that scripture and you talk about feeding those, feeding those temptations, your, your flesh just feeds that spirit. And the scripture goes in and talks about how uh, sin matures and leads to death. Mm -hmm. Here's what you don't want to do with that. And if you don't think about anything else before you go to bed tonight, I want you to think about this statement right here that I'm about to tell you. If our Lord and Savior kissed his betrayer and called him friend, mm. was arrested, he was beaten, and then he, was, he hung, bled, and died for our sins, and he arose on the third day for our salvation. See, that's the gift that God has given us of life through his son. Mm -hmm. 
If you allow sin to mature and turn to death, you have just thrown God's gift away. Mm. And that's what we don't want to do. That's right. So no matter what you think about, don't give in to the temptation. Mm. Build your spirit. Allow your spirit to be strong. Go to bed tonight. Just don't feel overwhelmed. Don't, don't, don't sit up here and ask questions. How am I going to do it? No, no, no. What you do tonight is, like Yolanda said, submit to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Submit to him. The devil will flee. Give T it to God. Tell God, I'm ready. God, just whatever you got to do with me, show me. Mm -hmm. See, the one thing you don't know about submission, y'all got to allow God's power to work in you. There are times where you and your spouse, I don't care how you feel about each other at that time. If you turn to each other and say, you know what? I love you. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for you. Yeah. And we're going to be all right. If you just say that, mm -hmm. you will feel something come over you. Now, I'm not saying that all everything you feel is going to leave. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is you're going to feel something that's going to feel a little better. Yeah, and because it's going to start renewing your mind. Because the devil will flee. Mm -hmm. It'll start renewing your mind. As Romans 12 and 2 says, do not do not be conformed, right, mm -hmm. to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that means you got to keep feeding yourself the word of God so that your mind will be renewed and your mind can go stronger because the mind is the battlefield, yeah. right? So you're trying to get the word in your heart so it'll come out your mouth, yeah. right? Otherwise... Whatever you're seeing and doing and looking at all the time is filling your mind. And then that's where the enemy starts playing tricks on you. And that's mm -hmm. where temptation comes in. And you got to be able to resist that temptation. But if you don't renew your mind on a regular basis, right, then you're going to grow. You know, you're going to let the sin to grow. Yeah. And it's yeah. going to end up in death. And you think it's okay. I'm going to just do it today. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to just let it happen today. I'm just going to be mad today and have a salad treatment today. But what you're doing is you're letting it grow, right? Right. Even the silent treatment, even stonewalling, disrespect, right? All of those things, you are allowing sin to grow. And when you allow it to grow, it leads to death. And then you look up, your spouse is fed up and mad and go, about to leave. And you, well, what did happen? What did mm -hmm. I do? I didn't even know it happened. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I did anything. So you got to check yourself, yeah. you know, because I think we get so busy trying to, fix and change somebody else we realize that stuff in us that need to come out we yeah. got some junk in our trunks not just in the back but in the heart you know what i'm saying i'm just saying <laughs> i wasn't trying to say the trunk but you know what i'm saying like some junk. Can, she say, can she say junk in the trunk i meant to say like you know what i'm saying we like some junk in we're the carrying trunk. stuff we're carrying stuff that we need to be released i have not heard that term since i was in high school that's pretty funny man <laughs> I'm telling you, I haven't. I don't know where it came from. No. But there's some stuff that we got to release that we've been carrying around and it's just been driving around with us and we have not dropped it off. And listen. You know, you know how we take stuff to Goodwill? Let me, let me say you Y'all been holding on to stuff and trying to take it to Goodwill. You got to take it to the good Lord. The, yeah. Take it to the good Lord and leave it there. Here's, here's how it happens. Here's how it happens. And I'm going to help you all out. I don't want y'all to worry about nothing because God got you. Don't want y'all to worry about nothing. The, the trunks and everything. Listen. That was a good point, it though. Was, Can it I was, finish it my was, point, no, though? It was. It was. Okay, go ahead. I was just trying to say that was really a good point. It was a good point. Like, yeah. take it to the good Lord, just like you take stuff to the goodwill. Okay. Yeah. That, I think yeah. that was a good it point. It is. Now, let me, let me help y'all with this now because we're talking about feeding the spirit. Now. Give it to God. In Romans 12 and 2, which is a great scripture that Yolanda pulled up, we already, we, our, our, our bodies are conformed. When you turn it over and you're saying, you know what, I am reborn, I'm God, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Your mind has, has gone. Hey, Tim. It takes a minute for your body to follow. Your flesh. Mm -hmm. You can train your flesh now. Your flesh is not always going to pull you. You can train it. But remember, you at the infant stages of this. And yeah. one of the best things to do when you start, don't go hit scripture hard and try to say, well, I'm going to start reading the Bible or, or you get some of these hardcore preachers or you sitting in a, a Bible study with all pastors. No, you might not need to do that. You might, what you need to do is you almost have to start just like a baby starts with milk. Mm -hmm. You might want to read some devotions, you know, yeah. definitely go to church, but read some devotions Basically. and get, get them to, to relate to you. You can't get the meat yet because you don't have the teeth yet. Get you the baby steps in there. Feed your spirit because your spirit is what's going to help you fight the flesh. Okay? You can do this. It can work. Your first step is submission and, and make the devil flee. Yeah. And then you'll be fine. You will be fine. What God did with us and couples like us, 
God can do for you. We yeah. just have to submit and we got to leave temptation alone. We cannot give in to temptation. So, and just know you don't have to do this alone. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one thing that we learned. Right. You know, because it's one thing to talk about it and it's one thing to actually be in the midst of it yeah. and dealing with it. Right? And we know that. Yeah. And it's hard. People say all the time, it's easier said than done. And I've been praying and I've been crying and I've been fasting. And I understand that. So that means you need the next level. Mm -hmm. The next level is working with someone, working with coaches like us, working with uh, spiritual, getting spiritual support, other godly couples with you. That's the type of stuff we do. We teach you skills. We teach you strategies. We help you overcome your communication uh, bumps. Mm -hmm. You know, while you're trying to have tough conversations and you can't find the words, you don't know the right way, the right tone, the right time and all of that. We help you. Uh, come up with those things right. and walk through those things because that's what we had to do. Right. You know, so we just believe that you need to get that help and that support. And mm -hmm. then the other layer to that is get get yourself out of the environment that right. you're in. Right. A lot of times we need to just step away. Yeah. And that was one of the hardest things for me. You know, I would say, you know, I love going to conferences and retreats and doing stuff like that. But like when I'm working, I'm in the middle of something, it is hard to step away. But when you are so consumed with something and it's just has your mind day and night in and out, you have to step away from you that. Gotta step away you from have it. to you have to get yourself out of that element, get yourself away from that situation mm -hmm. so that you can think clearly on what God is really Amen. saying. Amen. Right? You have to. You have to. I mean, and even even if it gets to a point to where sometimes I drive down the road, cut the radio mm -hmm. off and everything mm -hmm. because I I want to hear from the Lord. Yeah. I want to hear from the Lord. If I'm in yep. the car by myself, you just you just meditate. You driving, yeah. you got nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. Look around. It may be something else you need to see, mm -hmm. you know. But you have to, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to. I'm gonna show you a video later. Let me tell y'all something I saw today. This 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 is what I mean by it's listening. Such a squirrel moment. There was a there was a there's a video going around today, and a lot of people probably saw it. You know all the military videos where the where the parents come home and surprise mm -hmm. the children. Well, they've got one that is so awesome. It almost teared me up today. Um, there was a father that came in and his son is uh, doing a karate. And what he did was he had a blindfold on. The son had the blindfold on and was supposed to fight his instructor. So what happened when he put the blindfold on, his dad came in with the gloves and started boxing him. And the boy was boxing and the father called out his name the first time. And the boy stopped and then he just kept boxing. And then the father called out his name again, and the boy stopped and he said, Dad? And then he took the took the blindfold off and looked, and I mean, the way he ran to his daddy was so emotional. And the, one of my friends that posted it he said that it's like hearing God's voice. His sheep knows his voice. Mm -hmm. That boy knew his daddy's his voice. voice. Yeah. And he was able to, even though he couldn't see, he knew he was there. And this is what we have to do when you when you get into his word, when you turn the music off, when you turn the TV off for you a minute and you give it. yourself and be still in the moment. Mm -hmm. That's when you can hear that's you. You start talking to people and they'll say, well, you know, God don't really talk to you. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. But you have to be able to hear it. You got to put yourself in a space to hear it. And you got to get rid of the doubt, the fear, the anger. Mm -hmm. Get rid of all of that so that you could be at peace because that's what God communicates through. Yeah. That peace. Yeah. And so we just put together, actually, that was good, babe. We just, real good, real good. So we just put together a, a video series that we just said, you know what? We need to teach these phases, these phases, these steps, so that people know, you know, where are you in your marriage? What season are you in? What phase of a marriage? Because we believe that you go from not, be, you know, there's different phases you can be in in marriage. Yeah. You can be not okay. You could be in a good marriage, a great marriage, and a godly marriage. Yeah. So our goal is to get, get you to a godly marriage. That's yeah. what I, we pray and encourage you to be because we discovered that there is a, a place called a godly it marriage. It is awesome. And we didn't know that it at first. Awesome. We it didn't know awesome. that. We didn't know what it looked like. We didn't really understand it. You know, so now that we do, we're trying to teach those principles. And so we just put together a, a video series um, 
that we want to that we're going to re be releasing here in the next day or so so be looking for that link to come in and just look at that video series and it'll be a free download five part video yeah. series five phases to a godly marriage it's and it'll good. help you it's yeah. really really good it'll help you get an idea about maybe marriage. what's going on in your marriage it'll yeah. tell you about some of those things and then so uh look for that to come because we're trying to create things that will really help and give you all some real practical strategies to yeah. help get you through these situations yeah. because everybody's situation is different yeah. and everybody's dealing with certain things. And so we try to uh, focus on those who are really ready to do the work, mm -hmm. who really are committed to seeing this through, like mm -hmm. seeing it all the way through. It's one thing to send an email and just say, I got this problem, and then you disappear, and you are not really ready to do the work, right? right, right. But we're talking about those who are ready to do the work yeah. and be committed to yeah. it, to see it follow through, yeah. to see your your life and your marriage transform in a way that you is beyond what you can even imagine. Yeah, I, that's what we're yeah. about to release for you guys, and that's what's coming up next for us, yeah. and we're so excited about about it and we're so because it's actually causing us to shift a little bit you know of what we've been doing so it's, yeah. it's we got some exciting things coming up this spring and that's why this is a great time because spring always brings up great stuff and so this is the perfect time for us to kind of pivot a little bit so we're pivoting just a little bit so that we can really serve those who uh, can benefit most from the skills, the abilities, the gifting, the, the anointing that God yeah. has put up on our life That's the key. to help you all. To piggyback so. off my wife, there's no magic. No magic tricks here. And listen, listen. No magic That's tricks. That's why when, when, when we do get in conversation and some people say, well, that's easy said and done, but I don't know about all that. Listen, you have to be able to put in the work. Yeah. And the thing is, is that those who doubt themselves doubt the power God gave them. Mm-hmm. God didn't create you to fail. Mm -hmm. God did not create you to fail. But now the flesh has taught you to quit. Okay? The flesh is being conformed to this world has taught you to say, I'm just not going to do all that. I mean, it just ain't worth it. That's what the world has taught you to say. But God didn't teach you. He didn't create you to say that, to do that. He didn't create a being to be like that. So everything that comes from above is good. And you have that in you. But the spirit is going to have to help you find that. And that's what we do here. And that's what we're trying to teach. So these these videos are coming out. This video Yolanda's talking yeah, about. Yeah, man. It's going to bless your life. It, it tops off mm -hmm. everything, every stage about a marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, even that one that's that myth that everybody's like, oh, man, boy, that's, ooh, after the honeymoon. Just watch the video. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, so. it is. So I'm going to put a link here in the comments. And if you're not on our email list, I encourage you to join our email list this is one way you can get on you may have downloaded the prayer ebook we have there's a free uh 14 days of powerful prayers for your marriage ebook that we have been uh having available for some time now and i want to make sure you do have that that's the first thing mm -hmm. but second thing is once you uh sign up for that ebook then that puts you on our email list and mm -hmm. so you want to be on our email list so you can be the first to know about this new five-part video series that we have coming out um, that's really going to help those who are committed and ready to do the work. I mean, mm -hmm. you're just tired of staying up all night thinking about this stuff and thinking about what you need to do and how can you get help. And um, so we're here to help you and here to be a resource for you. So share this video and let people know we're getting ready to launch something big here and we're really excited about it. And mm -hmm. so uh, if you've been following us for a while, uh, you know, we try to drop it like it's hot. We're going to drop the truth yeah, go and we're going to drop the reality. She's just drop, she dro dropping jumping it in the trunk and dropping, dropping it like it's hot. hot. Yeah, we are. T we're going I to. It's you, just going to happen because we have to be transparent because it's the only way people get healed, right? You're only going to get healed through what you see is real. Healing comes through realness. And so we try to deliver that at all times because as we've been delivered from things, we share that for people that are belong in our mm -hmm. path. And we know everybody don't belong in our path. But those of you all who do belong in our path, then your deliverance is just there as well. Or you've been you've been to our many of y'all been to our retreats, y'all have invested, y'all have 
followed us y'all have put the time in and so and i pray and i know you've seen fruits from from your labor yeah. from what you've done without question yolanda's right and y'all heard yeah. the prayer at the top when i prayed we mm -hmm. pray for those that god can bless yeah. through us with our yeah. testimony you yeah. know and that's one of the reasons why you have to fight for your marriage because there are people that god is going to put in your path for you to bless with yeah. your testimony that's right and that's what it's about you know so if you all are here it, you know, it's because God has, has placed you here. That's right. And and, and, and God bless you. We, 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 we pray God's power, strength, and guidance, and wisdom on your journey. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, that's our conversation for tonight. We appreciate you so much. We're going to get back busy to make sure we can get this thing launched in the next day or so. Uh, so be looking forward to hit your inbox. Okay. Look forward to hit your inbox. So make sure you have... Um, have us on a uh, good alert so it won't go to your spam mail or anything like that. And Lawrence Drive Safe, thank you for joining us. Everybody, Tammy, thank you all thank for joining you for us. being here. Sweetheart, yeah. Marsha, Coco, Coco, we'll see you guys. You guys are so faithful and always here. Sarita, guys, we appreciate you all so, so much. All right, so until next time, live, live in peace. peace. Good night. <laughs>